My name is Sasha Montelli and I'm a co-chief scientist of this cruise to the Bellic Southern Sea. And I'm a lecturer at the University of College London. I'm a marine geologist, geophysicist and glaciologist. Uh, and I will reconstruct uh, past environments in the polar regions. Photography in general is, a, I guess, a way of uh, capturing the intensity of experience. I think generally it's, it's much more difficult in environments like this because appreciation of scale is really difficult to capture, especially with 35 millimeter lens. It, it's very difficult to, to, to transfer on, onto the film, but in this particular case, I think it will be a really interesting record of ch environmental change for me because uh, ice, even though it seems like it's very static and you know, brittle, firm, chunks of ice, it's actually changing very rapidly. Just where we are now, it's the ice sheet and ice shelves surrounding us, uh, has retreated at average pace of kilometer a year. You can, you can imagine that if I come in a more, more senior role, maybe always as a more senior researcher, 20 years on, in this particular sport, it will be actually changed quite dramatically. So I think in this case, it's just a real personal record of environmental change. I think it was the, my first research project when I was doing my master's when I was offered data from the Gulf of Alaska and Antarctica and uh, the appreciation of the landforms that glaciers produce uh, and the absolutely, absolutely incredible shapes that you sometimes can find uniquely in polar environments make you think of how they came about and how they were formed. And then you start appreciating that this complex interplay between ice, ocean, the atmosphere and the solid earth and this sort of holistic view of this past environmental change, that appreciation of complexity of the whole system and what you can infer from just looking at the glacial records and sedimentation. And I think that was really from my first master's projects. Quite, quite remarkable, really. quite beautiful. I think my, my major drive is just fascination and excitement and awe uh, when you stand in front of this absolutely immense and very remote features. From a very personal view, it's mostly about just the very intense serendipity of discovery and also very intense sensation of uh, making small steps towards understanding of these unknown areas, really. So I, I, in terms of camera, I think it's just a little personal notes on those changes that we can actually see on the timescales of our lifetime. <laughs>